It's my flex on the lookout. Fire you up like a cookout. Boy, you're trash, you get took out. Study my swag, get a book out. Here below, you have no sauce. Hey, I get Zinni like a boss. Hey, your girl look like Rick Cross. Hey, me and Popo take no loss. Hey. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bullet Hound. I'm bringing you guys another ESO video. Let's go, man. I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. This is a Magicka Nightblade Nelson run. We're going to try to do it really fast. Um, I'm not going to say a speed run because I know a lot of people can do this uh, really, really fast. I like the veterans and stuff like that. Um, I haven't played this game in a while. It's been like uh, four days or like almost a week since I played this game. Now, keep in mind, you guys, uh, <laughs> A week is a long time. It's not like Call of Duty where everything is, is like the same. You have to get used to like the mechanics, the 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 way your buttons, I mean the way your, just the way your character is and so forth. Because I have like plenty of, of other characters. And I gotta, gotta get used to it, man. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And also hit that bell notification to be notified for every one of my live streaming videos. You're very much appreciated. <laughs> But yeah, so let's go eat some of our food, 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 food. Yeah, but we're gonna um, try this out. Never ever done this with the Magic of Night Blade. Um, I have done the other arenas, so for you guys, you're like, you're doing male swimming because you can't do the other one. No, I've done the other arena before. But we gotta make sure it's on Veteran, and I guarantee you it's not on Veteran. Oh, it is on Veteran. Thank fucking God. I don't feel like leaving the arena and coming back. So yeah, we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what I'm gonna be running first real quick. Everything else I don't need to buy. So we're gonna be running the same setup that we was running with our Magic of Templar. We're gonna be running the Mother's, well, not really the same setup, but we're gonna be running the the um, Mother Sorrow a Lightning Stab, the Lightning. Uh, hopefully we get the um, in Perfected Inferno Stab. That would be cool, but if not, it's all good. Running the swarm mothers. The reason why we went with this, you can run the um, what is it called? You can run, no, not that. It, it's another monster set that gives you um, a two piece. Anyone that gives you like a two piece, like whether it's you know health or this or that, just just running. This gives you a stam, and I put a health with on there to just increase like my health. Right here, um, you guys could increase your magic instead. Me, I'm not. I'm cool with my sustain. I'd rather have health. If you guys, it depends upon you, you guys want, you know, um, more Magicka, you guys could turn a health booth into a, uh, a Magicka, uh, Magicka instead, and make sure you have Divines on everything as well. Uh, Magicka, 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 you can put this as health booth if you still have, like, a little bit of health. Um, we have one of Foss Gods, Foss Gods still. Um... I'm not sure. Depends upon you. You can change it to Bloodthirsty instead of, instead of to Arcane. Again, I don't have problems with it, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, we're gonna see uh, what. Well, our last one that would be this one here. Just change this into. I mean, I don't know. I just leave it as it is. Um, you could change it to, you know, um, if you have a lot of glyphs, you could change it to a Magicka glyph or Health glyph, whatever. It depends on your setup. Doesn't matter. Our skills we're running just impel, which is our execute. Uh, and then you, you get passes from this as well. Running the bread and butter to the night bleed. And then we wanted the swallow soul, of course, and get you heals. This one here, hopefully, we can morph it in this fight. I don't really, I didn't really use this because I was a stand blade, but you know, well, first I started off as it's a long story. <laughs> and we're using this, uh, dark shade, and this right here, uh, you, you could use. Uh, another ability. I'm just, I'm just gonna use that. Of course, that for dots for the pale order. Uh, this for our extra sustain and healing. Uh, this for our minor force. Um, so forth. Increase our movement speed as well. Other dots increase our movement speed as well. Shields and um, our insanely powerful destruction staff ability. Pots. Oh, uh, food. You guys probably already saw the food I'm running. It's the um, it's our sugar scrolls. It's really good overall. Doesn't matter if you're a tank. Doesn't matter if you're a magic dealer, doesn't matter. Whatever. Charge that food is good. If you don't have that, just run this. If you don't have this, just run Wish Mother's Potent Brew. That's, I mean, it's not really. Honestly, you could just buy like 100 stacks of those for like 10,000, I think. Uh, for Stam, you can run this, but I'm not a Stam character. So I used to be. 
but I like flipping this character over. Uh, of course, we're a Khajiit, and yeah, let's get straight to the Mesa Arena now. So I know a lot of, a lot of people always be like, what's the build? What's the build? That's the build, you guys. <laughs> but I believe, the hell, what the hell's going on? Did I die? What? Mm -mm -mm. I think I did that too early. Oh, well. <laughs> And I like about Nightblaze is they have like the a really powerful execute, so I like that shit. I like, I like, I like, I like that shit. Hey. Yeah, I can't wait till they let the arena stuff be like a bit OP. Not OP, but like the arena gear that you get. Like no one uses it. Let me know if they use it. I don't know. Probably like in a Dragon Star Arena or something. I don't know. Ah, shit. This is the wrong area. This is the area I use to be in. Alright. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Let's go, let's go. Huh. Who? Whoa. Oh, what it is a good for absolutely nothing. Is it again now? Huh. Yeah. War. What it is it good for absolutely nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys excited? My son is crying his ass off. You guys hear my son in the background? Yeah. That's him. That's him. That's right. He's just a whiny baby. I mean, he is a baby, but, you know, they just whine for attention. Alright. So yeah, man. The, uh, man, it, it messed up my vibe. Like I was really vibing, but the Melson Arena, you guys, it's it's not that hard, you know. Just maybe to place the dots down wherever they're spawning at. Um, you don't have enough resistance. You could try using like damage is not really a factor. You could take your time with like bosses and so forth. There's almost there's always damage. Uh, sigils and shit. So, oh damn, I can't even tell. But yeah, there's always damage sigils and shit. So you don't like need to like. Oh, I, I, I need to have just this ultimate DPS. The first, um, time I beat Muscle Marina is with the one bar uh, sword going the Outcast has, and um, it was pretty reliable. Um, I just man, I I couldn't wait to beat the arena. It did make me better as as I could person as well, the whole arena. But yeah, really good. I'm just drinking. So let's see, can I? Okay, that's just gonna take damage over time. Let's see, can I? Uh, beat these bosses without running out of magicka. Because I always run out of magic with this boss. For some reason, I don't know. Right. Look, a little trick that I do with these with these bosses: bring them together, stack them up. Uh, you probably would take more damage though if you don't have enough resistance. I don't know, but if you have enough resistance, just stack the ass up. Oh shit. I always keep that on. I keep forgetting. Yep, see? Tells you. With this boss, I've always run out of resistance. Oh shit. Look at this. What? Come on, man. This 
boss is tricky. Really tricky. Any other boss, like, I would just beat the shit like nothing. This, this boss this is the only boss that's, like, tricky. die from this part if you don't be careful so just be careful stay calm yeah easy i'm gonna get this to research and shit i don't think i need anything to research but that's had a lot oh these chips good y'all these chips are good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Alright. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry y'all for smacking your ear. Did any other boss love like the first the first two levels like uh Muscle Marina is a I'm not gonna lie to you. Muscle Marina is a joke on normal. It's it's absolutely a joke. Like it's like if this shit is easy for me. Like shit. Like if this shit is easy to, uh, for me, um Okay. I think there's a okay, it's not a string way, it's just this person. So just down with that fucking ice. But yeah, if it's kind of easy now, Melissa Marina is a fucking joke. When it's uh on normal. I wouldn't recommend doing on normal. You can if you just looking for if you, you just want the weapons and you don't care about anything. Go ahead and do it on normal. But honestly. If you like a challenge, uh, if you are not eight, eight, ten, if you like a challenge, then go ahead. Well, if you just want the weapons, really, not really. If you like the challenge, because Melsoran could be a, a complete. Now you die for my random things sometimes, so it's definitely not RNG. Some, I mean, it's, at times it is, but um, I mean, most of the time it's, it's not. It's just it's about how you strategize at the beginning. And if you're not strategizing good at the beginning. Like for example, on the one level, my least favorite what uh level is the poison level, honestly. Shit is just stupid. Ice arena is pretty like fun. I mean, I hate it, but I don't hate it. I'd rather do that arena than the poison level. I mean I'd rather yeah, I'd rather do that arena twice in a row. In the poison level. Shit is just so annoying. I'm lagging really, really bad. You guys can't really tell, but there's a delay to my abilities. So stuff like that will only kill you from Elsa Marina. If you don't know. Like like that's the only reason why I'll probably die from uh either not doing the mechanics or Ability delays. I I'm gonna say ability delays though, because I don't know. Over the years, Melson Marina, I, I can't believe like I was really struggling on Melson Marina, like bad, bad struggling to the point where, like I'm like, if I die, all I want to do is just pass Melson Marina. I don't care. Like, just <laughs> let me pass it, please, please. Yeah, it was to that point. Lucky Night Blade's got a lot of single target damage. But still do the uh, mechanics. Still kill the Strangler, just in case. Everything else yeah, will get killed by your dots. Alright, so it's time to execute him. 
or her. Whatever she wants to be called. <laughs> Alright. What's that? Oh, shit. I wasn't the right person. Y'all got this organic apple juice, y'all. Alright, let's check my weapons. Make sure everything's okay. Oh, nope. Yep. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and eat a chip. Make sure we get our energy right. <laughs> Eating chips are healthy for you, all So after this level, it's the ice level. Ice level is not too bad. Poison level? I don't know. Kind of hate it. Shit. So, even if you're a better, like let's say you're level eight ten. You never did Mel Arena for some reason. I don't know how you can get to level 810, but you just never did Mel Arena for some reason. Um, always just still do what you're supposed to do. Because if you don't, it could bite your ass later on. Like, if you get too, I feel like if you get too cocky with Mel Storm, Mel Storm will teach you a lesson. This arena will teach you a fucking lesson. Like, hey, still beat your ass. <laughs> so just always still do like the mechanics and shit even when you feel like you're just on golly mode just still do the damn mechanics it's just so much better uh, but you don't have to listen to me the reason why oh yeah another reason why I don't I don't deal with like uh, veteran players really like I don't make content for veteran players Better players are like really hard headed. Um, you guys know this game, like, I don't know. Like, if you have a guild full of like veterans, like, they're just hard headed, all of them. All of them are. Everyone that's level 8, 10, or whatever, they just. Oh, make sure to do this, do that, do. Oh, I'm right about this, I'm right about that. It's so annoying. That's why I just prefer to play solo. Um, I don't want to. Like, if I'm doing other content. Oh, shit. You need to die. If I'm doing, like, if I need to do, like, a hard dungeon, then I will go to, you know, my uh, guild members, the, pe the people who I do uh, hard content with. But it's like, oh, I'm a veteran player. It's impossible for me to make a mistake. And they don't listen. Like, it's it's okay to mess up, you guys. Like, even if you're a veteran player, it's fine to mess up. It's fine to uh, not know what you, not know what you're doing at times, you know. Like if you're doing a mechanic wrong, then just it's fine. It's not the end of the world. People act like it's the end of the world. Like, oh, it's impossible for me to mess up. I'm a better player. I'm a GM. What is a guild master? You know. But it's like, come on, bro. Like no one's no one's above. you like, oh shit. Ooh, who? See, that's what you don't want to do, y'all. Yeah. That's what you don't want to do. But yeah, no one's above criticism. You know, everyone ha has to be criticized every now and then. You know, what they're doing wrong and so, and so forth. So, I mean, god damn. That's the only bad aspect I, like, I don't like about this game. Is everyone's a fucking expert. No one can make mistakes. Oh, it's impossible for me to make this mistake because... I'm a guild master. Okay, whatever. Still live with your fucking mom, though, huh, bitch. All right, let me stop. All right. Okay, now the map. Said the master's coming. Come here, buddy. I need to talk to you. Make sure you guys show the little Darwin things. I said Darwin. Are they called it? I don't even know. But I don't even gotta pronounce anything, anything anymore. People, again, people are fucking experts. Everybody's a fucking. Uh, oh shit! Ooh. Okay. Where is the portal? Portal over here? 
I'll say this, you guys. Um, Nine Blades definitely have the most single target target deep DPS. Like when it comes down to bosses, they're just gonna annihilate the boss. Like I I never killed that boss on his first phase. That's how, that's how good Nightblade DPS is. And you guys could probably do it better. Cause I, I don't really play DPS roles too much. Alright. Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention. See that's that I, I saw you die. Hmm. Alright, so this level, I'm gonna let people have a hard time with this level. Kill the, the huntsman's chill bone, whatever. The witch the bitch with the frost staff. Kill kill her. Right here. Put a dot down on her. Of course you gotta focus on, you know. The other projectiles, like uh, the hard finder, huntsman hard finder. But make sure you you just you know you're putting damage to that to you know I thought that was one right there. But make sure you you're putting damage towards towards that one because they are a bitch. Those things do not play around. They will drain you and keep draining you. Well, not draining you, but they'll just. Keep snaring you bad, and they, and they do a lot of damage. And over time, it can get just like it, it can get overwhelming at times. So yeah, just be careful. Like I probably would have died right there. Uh, if it was one of them right there. Immediately. Okay. I don't feel like dealing with all this shit. I don't. I don't want to die. Right now. <laughs> Just gonna use my ult. All right, let me get close up to this guy. Oh my god, I fucking um the back of my fucking muscles are like jumping right now. Oh my god, my fucking. Back is just like jumping. <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Alright, kill this one. Remember, kill her. She is a threat to society. Alright. Make sure you go wherever they're going. Still do the mechanics. Even though you're an expert, still do. It doesn't hurt. Trust me. See her. Make sure you put the dots down on her or whatever. My buttons are a little bit delayed, to be honest. Um need to get used to that. Not too many ads. Don't like that. If you can, just save your ult. I mean. But at this moment it's just too many ads. I don't feel like dealing with them. Plus, I feel like I'm not really doing like my rotation right too. I think after this is last one. Oh. <laughs> so at this one, right? Just avoid his heavy attack. Kill the uh, the the witches, like I told you about. Just avoid this guy's heavy attack. It's pretty powerful, and that damn kick it is too. So, oh shit, gotta. Um, these guys too are the lemonades. <laughs> Avoid those guys too. You guys probably see plenty of other guys about this. And if you guys would rather follow their guys, that's totally fine. I mean, this is not really a guy. This is just me doing Mel Sabrina, if I'm being real. I'm not really like, you know. Oh, follow this guy, whatever. All right. All right. 
Okay, so let's start off with this. I don't know how I predicted that guy's movement. I did. Oh shit. See, this is where it gets bad. So I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. For a moment. Cause this is where it, it can get bad. Like really bad. Be sure you just pay attention to his, to his health bar. Shit, man. that twice it's good all right so now this is where it gets hard so nuke everything <laughs> that's my only tip that I, I could give you just nuke everything save your ulti you have nova that's good um use nova you have a if you prefer shooting star or whatever the other one, the ice comet, use that too. All right, we're almost there, y'all. All right, so this level right here, I'm gonna do the course. You just kill these little harvesters. The uh, I think they're called venomous har harvesters, and kill them on the web. The web, a uh, little. Uh, small statues or whatever you want to call them what they call them? Oh, they don't have a name for them really but yeah just kill them on, on the webbed up ones you should be fine if they die like that um and if it doesn't like if they already die on one that uh that's already um what is it called that's already like the web has been taken off of whatever then just throw it just press like the action button and throw it to like the next one just like this like that but it didn't get it but you guys you guys know what i'm talking about and this is not a guide this is just like for the new people who's barely seen this you know it's not it is not a guy i'm not really doing a guy but yeah see so they die right here like that you could turn your settings off where it, it automatically does it. Like you can actually pick it up and aim it and so forth. I just have it like that. But just you could either okay, so there's two ways where you could do. You could, of course, you know, uh, do do the last one, and um, make sure you get to these the lit up pillars, uh, spider cones. But yeah, you could either do like the last one at the beginning of the stage, and of course, every mob would be stunned for like a couple of seconds, and you could just burn them. Or you could just wait. Uh, the mobs are not, I mean, the ads are not that hard. The bosses are not that hard. So, um, yeah, you should be good for until you get to the last boss. Last boss isn't that hard. It's all about mechanics. That's it. Make sure you kill the web spinners, because they will fucking fuck your life over they'll basically um re-up the the wet oh my gosh i'm keep using that ability i don't know why sorry you guys this is not a perfect rotation i'm sorry but yeah they will uh basically web the uh, the, uh, the the pillars and you, before you know it all of the, the pillars are are webbed up and when it comes to like the last boss if you don't burn it fast enough it basically does like this one shot of mechanics. So, if you don't stun it, so if you don't stun it at all, after a while, the one shot mechanic is stronger and stronger, and boom, you're dead. Yep, happened to me my first run. I was like, oh, you know, whatever, whatever. Then, 
almost beat the boss and they just one shot me. and i they did it again don't understand why watched a few videos like no no one really explained it to me really uh they just said just make sure you do this make sure you do that but it's not really like something they explained to me one is this guy named j dub uh channel and he basically explained it to me uh, i mean went on his uh twitch channel he was live streaming he was doing mail submarine too but look at these little sneaky motherfuckers so yeah you gotta be careful they come out of nowhere um and i think they wed one up they webbed one up for me uh yeah they did so yeah just just be careful like you think that's true that you have all of them done but then before you know it you don't you're like what the fuck? i thought i had all of them done nope nope no did not have all of them done So, make sure I look for those web spinners. They do appear out of nowhere. Yep, right here. Alright. The Ring of Hell orders are so good. It, I just. So good for solo content. And I don't. Again, I don't see why they would nerf it. Of course, they nerfed a lot of good things in this game. I just, I mean, I guess it's just about change, I guess. I don't know. But my thing is, it's like, are they going to make the healing a little bit more powerful? Or, you know, we're going to have a passive and our champion coins that give us a lot of this, you know? Like the healing back, you know? Because oh, solo players need shit like this, you know? Like, we may be sucky in trials and shit, <laughs> but we're going to be really good in Mel Arena or whatever, or the rest of the arenas, you know? And I feel like this, first of all, it makes Maelstrom a lot more easier. And I think I said that in my other, my, my other video with my temporal. It makes Maelstrom, Maelstrom Arena a lot more easier so that other, other people can pass it. So they don't even need to nerf Maelstrom Arena or anything. They just need to basically, um, oh shit, you're going to eat me up. Yeah, so they just need to, all right, so this is where it's going to, the mechanic's going to come at me. Right, let me use this quick. So as you guys can see, I'm not lighting up the final pillar. So that mechanic right there, it gets stronger and stronger. If if you don't, yeah, I don't know. So like right now, I'm gonna light it up. Where's that? Okay. So right now would be a good time to burn the hell out of this boss. Yeah. Right. I didn't even do my merciful resolve. I keep forgetting about that. I didn't need it though. My boys excel in single target. They just like. So I can't find another much better single target DPS. -er. Probably neck stam necros would be good too. I have one, but I like mag necros. I'd rather make a ne mag necro instead of a stand necro. But we'll make a stand one soon. Yeah, come here. But you just came in for that. I was gonna show you the video raw route. You might as well show me now, see. It was Kate. At the end. What was this? <laughs> he did say nigga. <laughs> he, did. he said nigga. I didn't tell me he said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. You wanna you wanna whoop it? You, you want me? Yeah, I'm a whooping. Yeah. He said, "Nyeka." So, let's try to kill this guy. I hate this level. I, I hate this level with the passion. Like, it's 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 just ridiculous. Like these. Like this level could go really, really wrong. And it's just aren't my RNG. Um unless you just know how to just avoid certain shit, you know. Like right there, right? Okay, so if I would have went a little bit closer to that to that poison plant, whatever, it would would have hit me. But I have to interrupt that shit because people think they don't have to interrupt the little bow guy. They just forget to. But that motherfucker always kills me. Even in the uh, the final level. The uh the bow person kills me for some reason. Um my biggest threat is not the boss. My biggest threat is the fucking poison, of course. And the poison and what a what? Some fire expect from bro at you. He should have been dead. But yeah, so my oh, they ran out. So yeah, so my biggest threat is uh is a person with the fucking bow, cause he he does his heavy attack where he that shit gets really really strong for some reason, and yeah, he heavy attacks you, it's over. And that poison too, it it's really tricky too. On top of that. So I believe people don't fire the spectrum, bro, right, like right away because it gives you extra damage, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like these guys have to die and keep an eye out. Interrupt, interrupt, interrupt if you see them. Like this red glow. I think they're going to die right here. See this? Interrupt. Because they will one shot you. Uh, I did not know there was that strong. I don't. I really didn't see anyone like getting one shot by them. But me, I, I, I have a bone to pick with them. Ooh, and this guy heavy attack is kind of strong too. All right, thank you. But yeah, and sometimes you won't think that poison pet the. Uh, Catches you, but it does. So, it sure doesn't catch. You. See, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about. And they put it a poison plant right behind that guy. So, gotta be careful. I don't care about anything else, but these guys. The other guys, I think the assassins will like stun you or whatever. Yeah, they, they'll like stun you. Put put a bleed dot on you or whatever. Not too strong. As long as you don't get comboed up. You, you see what I'm saying? You guys see what I'm saying? And look, 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 look. The game will help you. I mean, the game will help them, you know? But yeah, as long as you just keep them, there we go. Do not let them charge up that attack. It's just, you either got to roll dodge it or interrupt. Them. But you cannot take that, that shit full head on. Like you just can't. But yeah, it's like the game knows where you're gonna go and shit, so. Look, 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 look. Uh huh, uh huh. Just keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Okay. The moment you think you got everything under control, this shit will fuck you over. So always just keep your eyes open. Keep, keep your dots down. Don't forget your basic shit. Alright, so the boss is gonna spawn right here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so I just can't wait for this arena to be over with. Once this arena's over with, it's pretty cool. After this. Even the fire arena, if I die on that one, I, I won't be too mad. But I just I hate dying with this arena. I don't know why.
plan. So if you have oh shit. So if you have striking uh crushing shock on uh where it interrupts like abilities that's like interruptible, take that shit off. Because you don't need it. Just take it off. Trust me, take it off. Okay, I may be able to. This is risky, really risky. Yes. All right. So usually, you will have to go over there and kill the boss, but I think my damage is like was just good. So, um, again, night blades are really good. <laughs> uh, stand blades also. You can just try stand blade too. But yeah, night uh, stand blades are pretty good. The uh, for a single target DPS, so yeah. All right, so this is the second to last level. Let's see what we could do. Oh shit! <laughs> this one, stay out of stupid. I mean, make sure you block. Make sure you interrupt heavy attacks. That's about it. Make sure you kill the flame guys. These flame guys are really annoying. Really annoying. So make sure you are killing them. Make sure you interrupt that too. Because you would not. I mean, you can survive it. But yeah. It's not too good, but it's, it won't be too good. These guys are pretty annoying too. Just interrupt them if you can. They'll just heal one another. I'm going to heal you, buddy. I got you. Get his dick out of your mouth, boy. Let's block again for these guys. This one. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> I, bought, I mean, a little stone thing will appear. Set your ultimate down on him. Kill him. He does have a pretty nice heavy attack, so get out the way. I got 20k health, so I'm pretty... I like, I like this build because I have 20k health. Pretty good. Hopefully my uh, shit morph, morphs. Uh, I wanted to morph my, oh shit. Yeah, so you see that? Make sure you bob and weed, just bob and weed. So you will just learn that over a car. Don't try to do extra. <laughs> Please don't try to do just extra, just like, oh, bro, dog, oh, block, oh. Cause you will die, you, you just die. Me, I kind of anticipate just his, um, this is from experience. If you do it a lot, it's not from, oh, he just really scared the game. No, it's just from experience. I used to suck at this fucking level. Suck. It's, it's, I'm telling you, like, because I'm not, like, I'm not trying to bullshit you guys. A lot of these other YouTubers, they, they just bullshit you. I, I'm not trying to bullshit you guys. Right? I'm trying to be completely honest, transparent, and fair. All right. I should do more content live. You guys want me to do more content live? Let me know how to comment section. All right. So for this again, um, these guys are not too bad. Let's do so. For these guys, you guys can hear my son in the background. Just say hello to them. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't cut out shit. I really don't care. All right, so. I'm going to keep my stack. I'm not going to fire my spectrum bow yet. I don't need it. Oh. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm just going to kill this guy. Oh, yeah. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, see. Look, 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 look. Look. See, you guys. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Okay, so that right there could have ended really ugly. Um, I, I feel like my bar was switching right. So, I mean, switching right, and he got up pretty fast. I, I don't know why, but it's all good. What I'm not doing, I notice, is I'm not letting my light attacks fully connect with the enemy. Don't, don't do that. Do not do that. 
All right, so these guys are here. They're gonna right here. I'm five special about him now. You're not looking to do that shit at the same time. It's it wouldn't be bad for you. Oh, right, dodge, boom. Well, do you think the dampen shield will help you out with that? Um, get into the other. Just absorbing more damage than just use that. I just like the harness magicka shield. I'm a magic character. All right. So. So let's get rid of this. So this boss, the only thing that changes is that she changed. She changed you in. Was very 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 annoying. Um, you can use your ult with this boss. I'm just gonna use this ult. I just don't want to risk it. <laughs> Again, I don't want to be like, oh, I take this boss and I just end up dying. You guys have noticed I don't take unnecessary risks if I don't, you know, if I don't feel really comfortable. Like, right. Uh, so with this boss, um, just hurry up and kill two of like the pillars. Once you kill two of the pillars, wait until this guy spawns so wait until this guy spawns kill him immediately like just try to do it pretty fast just kill him so like the boss will keep just doing that to you and then just do this just you know after that just burn him you know so this boss you have to kill of course both of the pillars you know i'm probably gonna go up, go up to two with this guy yeah, I'm gonna go to two. So yeah, to do the same thing again. The reason why you're doing it like that, so that uh, that you could just burn the boss. These guys are not really a threat at all, so you should be good. But after you destroy two of these things, that's when the mechanic will act will activate, and that that guy, this guy, will spawn. So that's how I do it. Um, some people do it a lot more different than me, so. You want to listen to them, listen to them. I just don't want that extra weight around. But after that, do this and burn them. Burn them, burn them, burn them. And he is dead. So that's what I do. You can do something different. I mean, it is what it is. It depends upon you. I like, I just like doing it like that, me personally. All right, so let's make sure everything is good. Um, let's take an experience scroll before we go to the next one. Weapons needs to be really charged. All right, so this is the last one. I'll try my best to commentate, but I want to get this one done with immediately. <laughs> this has to be one of my fastest runs. I thought my Templar one was, but. This one's probably going to be my fastest. Also, I didn't have to use any sigils. Magic Knight Blades are good for sustain. It's just overall pretty solid character. Make sure you don't you don't remember. Make sure you remember to don't let them motherfuckers charge their heavy, their 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 bow up and don't get caught inside a heavy attack. Other than that, the danger are, are like threats, of course. Void the ghosts. These guys are here, there's just oh the assassins can be threats too. Oh no no. So look, look out for the assassins too. Uh, these guys. Oh, especially the assassins. Uh, if the night blades absorbs a golden ghost. Ooh. Nasty nasty nasty. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be able to, to kill Deja so fucking fast. Mag but I say it, man, to be honest. I'm sorry guys, I gotta say it. Uh PvE. Oh, look, 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 look. Don't don't let them do it. PvE, you guys, I'm sorry. Mag mag blades are so much better. I'm sorry. Um when I barely start playing this game, I was a a mag blade, but I just didn't know how if they were, to be honest. Better way to use that. Oh, it's all good. All right. So 
the loose. I fear the guy with the bow more than I feel I fear the danger. That's how paranoid on I am with these guys. Cause I could kite the danger. But not really too hard. After a while they will stop spawning though. Uh, it's, like, they just spawn the beginning around. Thank God. But yeah, you see you see those those night boys right there? If they absorb that golden ghost and do that that tethering attack, over. Over. Alright, when I say over, I mean over. So, people with the bow still spawning. Make sure I kill this one. Make sure you. Oh, he's chaining right inside the other ghost. Make sure you are getting your light attacks down do not underestimate light attacks please oh shit all right i don't like this but like i don't know i kind of feel weird oh god okay so we got 16 seconds but use this oh my gosh hold up my billies are being so oh my gosh what's wrong with this shit my abilities are being delayed by hell yeah, be careful with those guys. Killing guys, not too much. These guys must be killed. They will summon a big ass bone bosses. Hold up, what is going on? These guys not even taking damage. Okay, what is going on? Yo, did you guys see that? That guy wasn't even taking damage. Was it because he, uh, he used the bless? The uh... nah. I... Oh. Let's see. I, I don't know, because that guy's taking damage. Probably because he was using his bolt, not his bolt, but the, 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 that healing shit. Yeah, I, so I need to focus on these guys. Kind of, kind of lacking uh, that shit. Yeah, man, ain't none of that shit going on around here. These guys aren't that. I mean, they, they can be, but they're not that powerful. <laughs> they can be, though. Kill these goddamn Night Blaze. That could be annoying. Deja, always kill him. Just put your dots down. Hide him. I didn't know about this strategy <laughs> until like later on. Oh, shit. For this one, dots down. Oh, be careful of him. Avoid the necessary shit. Shit. Oh shit. Nope. I died last time because I let that guy charge up his attack. Yep. Wasn't good. Nope. I'm not even going to give those guys a chance to do it. <laughs> the final, I, okay, if a Daedra killed me, I'd rather have a Daedra kill me. I'm not letting those guys kill me. A, a, a mechanic that could be an add 
kill me. You know what I'm saying? They just, they're really powerful. That they're, they're meant to completely annihilate you. Those guys are like little magnets. And I'm letting him kill me. <laughs> it's, it, it's embarrassing. It's despicable. <laughs> Alright, so now it's firing the boss. Alright. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, immediately I fell off. Don't do that, you guys. Don't do what I just did. Where, where's that danger at? I did the complete wrong. I don't know why I did that, you guys. Sorry. And be careful to do that, too. Shit. Don't forget to block like I did, you guys. It was a complete accident. Get to the thing. Woo! Got here. I like night blades because they're fast, too. <laughs> See this shit? I don't like that. They need to fix that. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure you're killing this guy. Save your ult until you have two gold, I mean, three gold ghosts. Just save that damn ult. Just like this. Use it. Go, 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 go. No! What the fuck? Hold on. What happened? See? What? What? What happened? What? Hold up. Time out. Hold up. <laughs> what happened? I wasn't in the AO. What? What even killed me? That's what I want to know. What even killed me? Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what even... What killed me? Oh my gosh. This game, man. Y'all see what I'm saying? That Don't ever... Keep doing the, the damn mechanics of the Metal Submarine. Don't stop doing the damn mechanics. Just because you think that you got... It in the fucking bag. That is a perfect example of what I was saying at, at the beginning. Oh my gosh, now I'm just gonna die. Gosh, Mel Arena. Welcome to fucking Mel Arena. Wow. Wow. I'm definitely, when I live stream again, I'm definitely gonna run that shit back. I'm not gonna, I can't set up for that shit. I thought I had it inside the fucking bag. Guess I didn't put my shit on or something. Guy was literally on one percent. One percent. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I refuse to believe that shit. He killed me on one percent.
The guy was dead. He was dead. Well, it is what it is. It's probably because Xbox is so damn laggy. Well, don't do that either. I thought I had it inside the bag too with that. So, she don't do that. So stupid, but it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us, man. Could have banned this shit down. And all I had to do is jump. Let me get the skull guns. Well, at least we know we got the damage, you know? I do not want this guy having a ghost. But this guy hits hard when he has the fucking both ghost. So, let's do what we did last time. I'm still trying to figure out what happened. Nope. I'm just going to follow the mechanics. I don't care. Shit! You got to go, Ghost. This is going badly. It looks like he's glitched out a little bit. Guys hitting hard. The fuck did I get? And we got a bullshit ass shield. I mean, I could probably make a bill with this. So, it says, uh, This is my new best score, All right? Oh. I'm still mad. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad. <laughs> but, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys, hopefully this taught you a lot about not giving up, about, <laughs> about not overestimating the, well, not underestimating the Mel Marina. At the same time, it can be done as long as you do like the mechanic. I don't know what happened to me right there. I never saw that explosion. I don't even know what that explosion it was. I think it's a mechanic that like the boss does or whatever, but I don't know. That's the shit I'm talking about. Random shit can happen like that. A gray ghost go inside of you, weaken you, take more damage, and then boom, you're dead. So shit happens. It is what it is. You guys know I could have a no death. That was a no death run. I can't believe I died. Like boss is on one percent literally like one percent and he just killed me I, I don't i don't even know how he even killed me but it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like subscribe and also hit that bell notification if you enjoyed this video uh we're almost to a thousand subs so yeah thank you for supporting the channel and i'm out peace Woo! good luck on your mail some arena run yay